Now, the journey to establish one of the largest research and innovation hubs in the region has kicked off. The official website for the proposed Dr. Ida Odinga Library Research, Innovation and Resource Center has been launched amid support from institutions such as the Kenya Film Classification Board and the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC, which have promised to inject additional funds for the setting up of a performing and creative arts center within the project. Among other things, the center is expected to empower young people and open up more employment opportunities. Yusuf Fala reports. Three, two, one, and we are live. The official launch of Dr. Ida Odinga Library Research Innovation and Resource Center website took place Thursday, illuminating the dream to have one of the largest innovation hubs in the country. The proposed multi-million exploration center to be domiciled at Uganda Girls High School in Homer Bay County has received praise as one of the greatest innovations hub the country has conceived in recent times. The event attracted state officials and major private sector players who undertook to channel additional support towards equipping the center, making it a resource that will help propel and actualize dreams of millions of young people in the country. I come, I come both as your son, but also as the CEO in a state agency. So I want to commit my personal commitment of one million Kenya shillings and indicate that Kenya Film Classification Board, and we have a meeting this afternoon with our minister for vetting, and we're also putting a lot of uh, campaign to ensure that we're also working with Kenya Film, uh, Kenya uh, uh, KBC, that we set aside funds to collaborate in putting Cinema Machinani and Studio Machinani so that the creative arts element in that center will be done by the Ministry of ICT through, uh, through those two institutions. We celebrate you, Mamaida, as a hero. And, and one of the things that we intend to do as a council is work with living legends. We have been celebrating heroes of the past once they are gone, but we have people like you that have been champions uh, when it comes to matters gender. According to Ms. Odinga, this dream was born out of realization that schools should provide students with skills in addition to academic studies to prepare them for the challenges of today's evolving world. Some of the institutions that will partner with Mama Aida Odinga in her legacy project include the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation and the Kenya Film and Classifications Board that have a keen interest in rolling out creative and arts centers all across the country under the Cinema Machinani Initiative. The KBC as the implementing agency for Studio Machinani which is a project that aims to establish audio production studios in the 47 counties. KBC, through the Ministry of ICT, Innovation and Youth Affairs, fully associates itself with this project, which, whose larger vision is to nurture talent. Led by KBC board member Charles Mulila, officials from the two state institutions disclosed their plans to continue working with like-minded institutions to make Kenya a global creative hub. And as you are aware, in KBC, we are funded by the taxpayers. We consume your taxes, and we have to utilize these taxes for the benefit of this society, the society of Kenya, and more so in projects that benefit the youth. If there is one such of projects, this one is. Our young musicians, it's like they've been told if uh, uh, music does not have, you know, some sexual innuendo, it will not sell. So we want to reverse that by using this center and making Mama the moral champion. We want Mama Aida Odinga because of her role in society, her influence in the Kenyan society, in our politics, in our families, in the education sector, uh, we want to use that center to change uh, the way our moral fabric is constructed. These uh, sentiments resonated well with those of Sports Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Amina Muhammad, who says that the library will be a sanctuary that will help the youth work towards financial independence. As a result of sound character development and generations worth of mentoring and training, Uganda Girls High School bequeathed Kenya the rare gift of a stateswoman whose focus on education and the welfare of all continues to inspire many to champion causes with demonstrable leadership. Many women have done a lot of things, but these things are not documented. Many Kenyan women have done a lot of things. I wish now that I see uh, Yvonne Hamati. I hope you remember that all the efforts of women who have gone before us and also who are there, 
their work is documented so that we know where they are. I know all the time when we talk, the first thing people see, the wife of so and so. But on their own, they are also great women who have done a lot of work. The construction of the library has commenced and is set for completion in under two years. The hope of Mama Aida Odinga that the dream that has kicked off today will in two years' time become a concrete reality and not only Homa Bay County but the country at large will reap maximum economic benefits from it. Yusuf Farah, Channel 1 News, Nairobi.